Hello everyone, this is Tanya, Frag Addiction Channel, and this is an in-depth review of Pegasus Exclusive. Uh, as a follow-up to classic Pegasus, and you guys also asked for it. Why not? I thought it has to be done, even though I must admit that this is a cooler weather staple. Um, now we're entering summer pretty soon, but it's actually good for air-conditioned spaces also. Why not? <laughs> and I think in the warm climate, Pegasus exclusive is not as stunning and com complex as, um, um, as in cool weather. I'd say moderate to cold, but it projects, it still projects really well, even in hot, uh, on a hot, hot summer day. It still lasts all day, and it's still one of the best perfumes de Marly for a large number of fragrance enthusiasts. Um, and I kind of was fascinated, in fact, that it's so popular. I, I think it's as popular as Herod and Car uh, Carlisle for many. Pegasus ex Exclusive is considered an amber woody fragrance for men, and it was launched in 2020. The nose behind it is uh, Hamid Marathi Kashani, just like with the other like a lot of Parfums de Marly. The top notes are listed as bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, heliotrope. Heart notes are jasmine, which for me is barely here. It's maybe the only green part of that jasmine, uh, not the floral part. Then lavender in the heart, bitter almond, geranium, and base notes are vanilla, lots of vanilla, amber, sandalwood, natural oud, gayak wood, and I, yeah, this vanilla, I think it kind of, um, it's a part of that oriental amber accord and containing, as for me, it contains a lot of benzo and it's sweet. <sighs> this guy, is very, very powdery. It has um, that bitterness of Parfums de Marly signature base, uh, but I think it's even more powdery than the regular Pegasus. And I think as to together that uh, with um, Latent exclusive, the one that I have over here. These both guys have double of um, that signature Parfums de Marly bitterness in the base. Cons like considering the other Parfums de Marly. They share similar kind of wild bitterness as for me. It's kind of intensified with uh, prominent oud. Here you can actually feel that oud. But despite of the fact that they both have natural oud listed, it's not animalic at all. Not a trace. They both are very, very aromatic and herbal and with noticeable lavender. Very clean. If you have one of these um, and um, you're, you're satisfied with it, I don't think you need both. My personal opinion. They're very similar. And I think Pegasus Exclusive, in fact, is more similar to Leighton Exclusive than to initial, like the first Pegasus that was released. So these two uh, share Almond Accord. Yes, they do. And um, that's probably the end 
of their similarity, but they can be used for different situations. Leighton exclusive and Pegasus exclusive, I think they're meant for the same situations, basically. They're very universal. If you're more into fruity apple accords, get Leighton, Leighton exclusive. If you like, if you like the almonds more, take Pegasus. You can uh, go to work in them. You can dress them up uh, or even, I mean, it, it could be an everyday scent. I'd say they can be as fancy <laughs> as your wallet can possibly afford. They both smell very, very like a, like a rich man. Smell like a million bucks for me. And at the same time, they're elegant. Kind of daring, like this one I'm smelling right now. I can smell a lot of fougere, of that lavender pulling through, especially on my man and on the blotters. These two are very masculine, undoubtedly masculine. If you watched my other review about regular Pegasus, I think it's more unisex. And this is definitely masculine. But I'd say this, it pulls differently on different skin chemistry. And uh, on me, for example, I smell on myself. I wore that for a day and I didn't really smell as much lavender on myself. And I smelled, in fact, you're gonna be surprised, Black Phantom. If you smell these two, like in parallel testing, they're not alike, not at all. But uh, I feel like somebody's skin chemistry can get more of that chocolatey vibes, which is not listed, more vanilla, even more vanilla than <laughs> it is uh, possible. And I feel like, yes, in the Black Phantom, there is some almond note. I don't remember if it's listed here, but um, on me, these are similar. On my man, not at all. Can't smell it. This is more gentlemanly male forward. That fougere, uh, on the contrary with classic Pegasus, as for me, these are actually not from the same realm at all. Classic Pegasus is for me a magical creature. It is roaming through the skies and this exclusive version is an earthling, a very wealthy one, <laughs> and it also smells a very gourmand. Unlike the original, it's, um, it smells a little edible, but not as like as gourmonic as could be, yes. On the contrary, again, with the regular Pegasus. The regular Pegasus for me smells dangerous, smells like cyanide. And uh, Pegasus exclusive has kind of a coffee wa a vibe, something chocolatey, and the vanilla is really rich here. And I also don't think this is soapy at all. Some people say this one is soapy. I don't really know, but for me, it's not. But this one is not soapy at all. It's very uh, sophisticated, a little sweet uh, and powdery, definitely. I still don't think it's a blind buy safe uh, for even for gourmand lovers. First of all, as for me, it can pull a little mature. So it's not for guys younger than like 25 years old, unless you really, really like it. Plus it's not, it's not a casual fragrance. 
not a casual joe. You have to look good to pull it off. You have to have clean haircut. No untamed flyaways anywhere. Neatly groomed. Wearing at least business casual. It is not for gym or any kind of gym clothes. Um, by the way, by the way, please share the video with your friends. <laughs> come on, come on, share the video. YouTube algorithm doesn't, uh, doesn't make any difference now. Even though there's, uh, more than seven, 752 subscribers as now I, that I'm uh, filming it. I believe not even all of the people getting notifications uh, and ge getting the views uh, on their homepage that there's a new video from this channel. So I just chit chat with your friends and like it, please. Like and subscribe if you're not. <laughs> so, what I noticed. As I say, this is many people's favorite perfumes de Marly. It's very, very mass-pleasing. Uh, especially for the wearer. Very easy wearing experience. It kind of changes throughout the day slightly, but it's mostly linear still. Very long lasting. That almond with chocolate stays all the way. Uh, and the lavender is pretty long lasting too. You can smell it maybe for about three hours. There's still traces of lavender. On start for me, Pegasus exclusive. It's very cardamomy. There's, yeah, you can definitely feel the cardamom. <laughs> very popular note. And uh, there is coffee. I think it's not listed, but I don't know why. Maybe that's the, um, like, it's not an accord of coffee, but maybe the chemical mix they, they make for that oud accord, the European oud accord, makes that coffee note somehow i don't know and um there is pepper definitely this is a real compliment puller the first couple hours of wear especially um i still think they're in the same realm as black phantom by killian but this one is not boozy at all uh, and again, more powdery and aromatic. In fact, in fact, I think if you really like Black Phantom and you have it and you're happy about it, how it pulls on you, you maybe even don't need Pegasus exclusive. Uh, unless you want to have like more of a fougere touched um, Black Phantom. Yeah. They don't smell the same. Don't get me wrong, but they're kind of made for different skin chemistry. Uh, on me, Black Phantom is stunning. And it is quite flat. But on my man, these two are both divine and very different. And they don't really smell alike uh, on my man at all. Uh, on my man is Pegasus exclusive, very universal, as I said, and very manly, yet very sexy. Oody, easier to wear. Unlike Black Phantom, the Pegasus exclusive can be a signature scent for every day. Killians are just not like that. It's simply too much for work. They're too boozy, too pretentious, too much like alcohol infused notes for work. Uh, and um, like they're over the top, but they both are very upscale. And Pegasus exclusive is kind of more down to earth, but still luxurious and deep and can be worn uh, uh, in really fancy situations uh, 
like uh, black tie vents uh, easily. I love it. It smells like the Parfums to Marley signature base. This is amplified here. I'm a big fan of this brand, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> Next stop, musical associations. This fragrance for me is as deep as LFE for me. Um, it is low frequency effects. Those effects that you can feel in the movie theater. You can't hear anything, but something is starting to vibrate around you. <laughs> this is what it is. Uh, it is big time on the beats and kind of shakers. It's the mix of familiar and very pleasing notes, including cardamom. It really shares the same almond coffee vibe as Black Phantom, as I said, but it's even deeper for me and more relaxing and warm. Uh, the song associated with Pegasus Exclusive is called Searching, performed by Two Lanes Band. Uh, and um, in that composition, you, it, it's quite possible to get lost in this music if you turn the sound a little louder, but on one condition. The stereo system has to be set up the right way. Um, on the stereo surround sound, maybe in the car or the bigger speakers, subwoofers are excellent for that. And you can melt in the seat and close your eyes to feel the tender vibrations very smooth. It has a sensation of floating, just like Pegasus exclusive. Very comfortable. So guys, what do you think about Pegasus exclusive? Do you see any similarities between these two? <laughs> Please write down in the comment below. Uh, and are you team Layton exclusive or Pegasus? Comment, comment. And like this video, smell good, and see you soon. Bye-bye.